Over the last three decades, we've made tremendous progress in the way we treat head and neck cancer. In the past, we had very aggressive surgical options for patients, and we realized that those weren't always necessary. And in fact, combinations of radiation and chemotherapy can be in the right patient as equally effective as some of those more extensive surgical resections that we used to do in the past. Now, in this new era, with transoral minimally invasive endoscopic head and neck surgery, we can take care of that tumor without incisions through the face, and we can use endoscopic laser surgery that uses very precise cutting tools to allow us to minimize collateral damage to the surrounding soft tissues, nerves and blood vessels and, and other things, and get that patient back to a normal voice and swallowing function within two or three weeks. And now, with robotics, there are instruments that can be placed safely inside the mouth and into the throat that have a great deal of precision. And we also have a camera that's only 12 millimeters in diameter that's essentially an HD. We have got the ability to go inside a patient's throat to see this tumor in 3D and then to turn corners and rotate 540 degrees. My hand can only do about 270. That's the, the next generation of surgery and it's fun to, to see it happen here at Stanford.